coming here today for this uh, what we feel is a very important uh, logic and issue which unfortunately is in the tactical area in our culture. My colleague Sanatra uh, is heading the state of Karnataka state in YK under the Ministry of Government of India's Ministry of Human Affairs. He has explained to you about the significance the significance of the world of today. I must uh, mention and uh, what we have to say we already ended the world in the first place. But just one point that we want to make that is how challenging it is, how difficult it is to raise this how to what a challenge it is for everybody, civil society or the government, to basically address this issue of climate change. Means it is not even in our public conscience that the world is facing such a tremendous problem and crisis today. We, as people, as society, it is not even in our agenda to talk about. And today's press meet, and I am so I have to say this, and I will say. It is a challenge to even gather people to hear what is there, to, to, to invite the press and insist that the press also comes and listens to what is issue is. Whether the publish or not is a different matter. But at least listen what the voice, you know, the earth has the voice, we are trying to give voice to the earth. Please listen to what the audience will say. And just add a few pointers here. The crisis of climate change is actually a huge crisis pending. As per the Paris Agreement, which we all may be aware of, Paris Agreement talks about limiting the, climate, uh, the increase in temperature to 2 degrees in this century. At the moment, it is going by 3 degrees. If at the end of the century, the continued global warming takes place at 3 degrees, you know what is happening. It is going to have a tremendous consequences on the planet Earth and the people living. Glaciers will melt, oceans will rise, coastal towns will be flooded. And what we see now today as ir ir uh, irregular rains, drastic changes in climate. Even now, this is not a rainy season, but we have rains here. Bangalore is a city which is about 3,000 feet above sea level. But see what is the climate here today. The old timers will recall that Bangalore has been a place of such a wonderful weather. What happened to that weather? I think this is what is a reflection for us all to see that this is what we as humans have done over here. Oh, this is just to give a background about what this issue is. So our attempt here is to raise a consciousness about the issues which are there or as to why we are facing this climate change issue indiscriminate tree felling, urbanization, massive and indiscriminate industrialization has brought us to this stage. This is not to say that we don't want development, but of course there has to be a sustainable development. The demands of industrialization and economic growth have to be balanced by the requirement of environment conservation. And that is where the United Nations has come up with the SDG, Sustainable Development Goals, AD. This SD, Sustainable Development Goals, there are 18 goals, and they have a time limit of by 2030 to achieve those goals. And very important, those goals include the climate change goals. This is our very humble attempt to raise the voice and create awareness among people. Please. Bear in mind that environment issue is not a government issue. We cannot only talk that government should enact laws. Laws are there. Anti pollution laws, air pollution laws, water pollution. Laws are there. But the environment is a matter of people. We have to make it a people's affair. In fact, the United Nations, in, in, in the, while it wants to implement the SDGs, it identified three agencies as three instruments will be implementing these SDGs. One is the international agencies like UN, World Bank, Asian Development Bank. Second, they said the national governments. And third, very important, they said, is 
civil society. I think this is where we come in here. And this is our small attempt to take this voice to the people. And very important thing for us Bangaloreans here. I, I now I'm Bangalorean I can say, even though I have not born here, I come from Maharashtra, but for all practical purposes, Nama Bangalore. I am from, I am now Bangalorean. And let us make this Bangalore as a voice as a voice for the for tackling the crisis of climate change and let Bangalore emerge as a leader in this whole climate change movement in the Indian subcontinent. Thank you very much. Thank you.